What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Gatherings on school grounds or in the parking lot are still not welcomed. Please make sure to stay home and stay safe. Seniors, there's a yearbook and exit survey on your Class of 2020 Schoology page. Please make sure and fill these out by the end of the week. Cheer tryouts are now going to be virtual. All of the information is on the cheer website and on Schoology, but if you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Geis. Now over to Josh with weather after this quick commercial break. Oh, hey seniors. Normally this time, SVTV is shooting senior thank yous. Don't worry, we're still making senior thank yous, but this year, it's DIY. If you're interested in making your own video, you can view the link to a tutorial in the Class of 2020 Schoology page, or in your own government class. If you'd like to submit your senior thank yous, you can submit it to your government class, or email me at aramcgill at usd345students.com. All submissions are due May 15th, and remember, these are for graduation. That's all for me. Make sure to remember, it's always a great day to be a Viking. I hope you're ready for a wet and stormy week ahead because that is exactly what's in store for us. After a cool weekend, things will finally start to warm up and our chances for thunderstorms are about to increase as well. But of course today, kind of a yucky day, some scattered showers out there also remaining very cool with highs in the low 50s. Tonight, the rain chance continues, maybe becoming a little widespread, although the heaviest and steadiest of the rain will probably miss us to the south. But as we get into tomorrow morning, this is 6 o'clock, it's just a few scattered showers remaining, and later in the morning, this chance will continue to decrease. So some scattered light rain showers are possible on Tuesday, but that chance will be confined mainly to the early morning hours. And actually, much of your Tuesday will probably end up being dry. Then our next rain chance comes in late Tuesday night into Wednesday. This is as our temperatures start to warm up. So that's why we think a few of these blips on the radar could be associated with some lightning and thunder. Some scatter showers and thunderstorms are possible pretty much any time throughout the day on Wednesday. But I assure you, there will be plenty of dry time in the mix as well. Now, later in the day on Wednesday, closer to Wednesday evening, there is a risk for some severe weather. This is the outlook from the Storm Prediction Center for Wednesday. And you can see a slight risk has been posted for much of central into northeast Kansas. If we don't see a lot of rain throughout the day Wednesday, that would increase the potential for severe thunderstorms as Storm initiation is expected along a dry line in central Kansas, and then those storms would move east. But there's still a lot of uncertainty in whether they'll maintain their strength as they get there. So bottom line, just stay tuned. Some strong storms are possible later in the day on Wednesday. And later in the week, from Thursday through Saturday, a low-pressure system will be stalling out, and a stationary front will be hanging out right around Kansas. And guess what that means? Combined with lots of moisture, numerous chances for showers and thunderstorms continuing right on through the end of the week. Some of them could be strong to severe, and some places could see one to three inches of total rainfall with locally higher amounts possible. How about that? And checking out this on the SVTV 7-day forecast, there's that transition from rain Tuesday night to storms on Wednesday, and notice that transition in temperatures as well, 54 Tuesday, 
70 Wednesday, 78 on Thursday. That could be our highest chance for severe weather. And warmer weather, more typical of May, continues right on into next weekend. There is at least a glimmer of hope that next Sunday could be dry. So that is your latest weather forecast. Stay safe and stay tuned as we update this for you throughout the week. But for now, Allie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all I have for today, Vikes. See you next time. I hate this channel. Oh, no!